Chloe Winter last updated 1659, October 9, 2017 Orpheus owner Don Cliburn has closed the restaurant after being caught serving alcohol when his liquor license had expired. Two glasses of wine, a bottle of beer and a male mix-up have been blamed for a Wellington restaurateur losing his business. Don Cliburn has shut the doors on Orpheus Restaurant, in Allen Street, after he was caught serving alcohol while waiting for a new liquor license to be approved. Cliburn blamed a male mix-up for allowing the old license to expire, and said he chose to keep serving out of desperation to keep his business afloat. Chattels were removed from the restaurant on Monday. However, on the first day after his license expired, a council inspector came in and discovered the breach. Read more Police accused of drumming up opposition to Wellington Liquor Store application editorial The police must tread carefully over liquor licenses economy at risk if tighter alcohol policies come in Police and Wellington City Council have since decided to oppose any new license. As a result, Cliburn said he had no option but to close permanently because he could not afford the pay rent, or his 12 staff, in the meantime. It costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every month to run a place like this. We are shattered now, we are done, he regretted the decision to serve alcohol without a license, but believed the council should change its reminder system, and grant temporary licenses during periods of renewal. A Wellington City Council spokesman said several reminders had been sent to Orpheus' registered address, and Cliburn was warned three times by licensing inspectors that he could not sell alcohol once his license expired. Despite this, he was caught selling liquor. Managers of licensed premises are supposed to keep an eye on the renewal date for their licenses, in much the same way as a car owner is responsible for keeping a WOF or Rego up to date, he said. In the case of the Orpheus, the council sent the manager three reminder notices but they were sent to the business address held on our records. The council was not informed of the change of ownership or business address, which in itself is a breach of the license, the spokesman said. Orpheus license came up for renewal in August. However, reminders from the council were sent to an old address of Cliburn's former business partner. The first he knew of it was when the council called him the day his license expired, he said. He immediately applied for a new one. However, he had to refrain from selling alcohol, which accounted for 70% of his business, until the new one was approved. He was told the process could take up to seven weeks. We are a semi-fine dining restaurant. We can't operate without selling spirits, wine and beer. They said, well, you should have done due diligence and looked at your license. I said, well, yes, maybe I should have, but at the same time, maybe you guys could help us out a little bit. They said they'd process it as fast as possible. In the meantime, Cliburn decided to keep offering alcohol. I was told by several people, looked on, you've had four liquor licenses here, and you've never had a issue, you've never had police calls, and it's not like you have 15-year-old drunks in here having orgies in the back corner, so just carry on, nobody is going to check on you. Stupidly, I listened to that advice, and I sold two glasses of wine and a beer and a council inspector came in and caught us. At that time, we made the decision to close the restaurant. On Monday, Cliburn was removing chattels from the premises. He was not sure what he would do for work now. Stuff.